what up this is Devonte from Devonte's Paradise and we have another brief intro coming at you we got your boy Wale Wale in the building just chilling right now man we so many so many artists that we went through and we still got a whole bunch whole lot more to go through um one thing that's interesting about Wale is it's like this love hate thing i i personally when i really sit down and think about it you ask me if i really fucked with wale i would tell you yes um there's times when i've spoken to certain people um at first listen of his latest album that's crazy i didn't like it uh because i i think i think it's only because i like shine so much i really liked shine and it felt like with that's crazy, he kind of had to go back into uh, being controlled. It's, it's like it's like this weird thing with Wale, where you could kind of tell when he's told how to do an album versus when he does an album for himself. Uh, Shine seemed like he he was comfortable. That's crazy. It seemed like he had to get back into the market, appeal to a certain demographic, and this and this and that. So Wale's in a very weird place in hip hop. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Wale uh, because he tweets weird shit and it always seems like he's complaining in interviews. That's what I've heard uh, personally. Uh, I think Wale and Fabulous has his, have that problem. They tweet certain shit and people don't like it. Now, I don't follow them on Twitter, so I don't know exactly what they're tweeting that makes people hate them. But based off what I'm getting, I think people just like to hate people. And um, it's really not that serious. It, it reminds me it's, it's remind me of this Doja Cat situation. Uh, me, personally, I just, I just don't care. Uh, I think, I think, I think... The society as a whole knows that black people care more than any other tend to care so called so called black people tend to care more than any other race I mean, it, people can get you emotionally involved into some shit um, so I've learned not to get as emotionally involved into shit anymore um, being be, we gotta learn how to be more snobby and, and, and not care less about certain shit uh it's 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 going to be hard and I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying that but that's what that's how people get y'all but that's how people get us you know however you want to put it um they can get you guys to get emotionally involved and invested into things by presenting things to you and you emotionally get emotionally invested and attached to it every single fucking time Now, let's go over the features as far as uh, as far as Wale for his first album, Attention Deficit. We got Bun B, Gucci Man, Weenze, Weenze, Weenze. I probably spelled that wrong. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan, Pharrell, Chrisette Michelle, Lady Gaga. Mm, I thought Lady Gaga, based off this feature, I thought Lady Gaga was gonna be a little more associated with hip hop I didn't expect her to be too much associated but this is about the only feature in hip hop she has she has uh, Kanon, Marsha Ambrosius Melanie Fiona and J. Cole now they also say that J. Cole killed Wale on this 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 track again just like I said in the Kendrick Kendrick the brief intro rappers put those rappers put a decent or, or a very good rapper at the end the, the rapper at the end is supposed to kill it the, I, I think just people have gotten dumber in general and they say oh yeah he, you let him kill you on his own track if he's at the end he's supposed to kill me on the own he's supposed to kill me on my track but then y'all attribute that to saying well J. Cole is better than Wale that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a song, it's a structure there's different elements to it. See, this is why I don't listen to 
to, to people. I just, I, well, I listen, but I just, I still do my own thing. Because people say shit and they make you believe things. And it isn't as it seems. And then the ironic part about that is that person might feel different the next day, a year or two from now. I'm like, yeah, I actually like that guy. And they got you believing something that they don't wholeheartedly believe. You got to believe, you got to stand up for something or fall for anything, man. That's, that's where that saying comes from. And to make sure it's recording. Okay, so let's get into a second album, Ambition. I was at college during this time. Let's get into the features. We got Miguel, Kid Cudi, Lloyd, Neo, Big Sean, Meek Mill, Rock, Rick Ross, and Jeremiah. Now, I forgot. Let's see, what were the singles on here? Chillin' was a single. Chillin' is the only single I remember with the lady with Lady Gaga. Now, let's see the singles on here. Lotus Flower Bomb. People hated that song for some reason. I thought it was okay. This is a cool it's a cool little album, man. Wale whatever you say about Wale and Logic in general, the these motherfuckers produce music, man. You know, there's a lot of rappers that might be better than them or might be quote unquote cooler than them, but these motherfuckers produce the music. All we want is music, man. We want albums, man. That's it. Let's get into Wale's third album, The Gifted. Let's get into the features. Sam Du, Rick Ross, Common, Meek Mill, CeeLo, Yo Gotti, Life Jennings, Nicki Minaj, Juicy J, Rihanna, Neo, Wiz Khalifa, 2 Chains, Jerry Seinfeld, Tiara Thomas, French Montana, Fat Trail, Dom Kennedy, YG, and Webby. Shout out to Webby, man. Problem, Black Cobain, and Nipsey Hussle. Now, I added that Nipsey Hussle feature before Nipsey Hussle passed away. So I was prepping Nipsey Hussle for a brief intro. But he ended up passing away, man, tragically. It came out of nowhere, too, man. Where's the uh, Tiara Thomas song? I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind right now. There it is. Bad. Uh, Wale's most popular song. That song's go. That song still go crazy. You play that song, I'm like, oh man, I remember that shit. Uh, by this time, people start fucking with Wale. Um, he got to, he got into it with uh, Meek Mill about the Drake situation, uh, which I kind of believe is Nicki Minaj's fault. You know, uh, uh, some some somebody from TDE came out Wale. I don't know why y'all did that shit. I'm like, why y'all doing that shit? I think it was on behalf of J-Rock, too. Or I think J-Rock said that shit. Oh, man. I, my cousin connected to him. I'm like, man, don't, 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 don't. I mean, I get it. You think he ain't going to, like, oh, he ain't a nigga. He ain't a street nigga. He ain't going to do shit about it and this and this and that. But you, sometimes you got to shut your mouth, man. And this is coming from, from a man-to-man point of view. J Rock, man, like, fuck, man, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. But, uh, Wale got, Wale was getting to all these different, um, little beefs, and then he was getting the beefs with the fans, and DJ Academics was trying to tear him apart by this time, so people kind of stopped fucking with Wale. And plus, they, I think people gave this album a chance, but they just weren't fucking with it. Because it's not no real, real ratchet shit. And another thing, I think people have an issue with Wale is... 
I just think people don't like when when you talk about personal shit. People don't care about personal problems anymore. They just want to party. What was that? What that one Illuminati nigga that I watched said? Jeremiah Cohen. Uh, guns, money, fucking guns, money, guns, money, sex, guns, money, <laughs> guns, money, sex, guns, money, sex. That's what sells, man. But let's go over the features for this. Oh, I think I can see that from here. Rex Kudo, Sabrina Sanchez, Edan Kalai, Stokely, and Tony Williams. Magazine, Dwell, J. Cole, Phil Ade, SZA, Chrisette Michelle, Usher. That's a joint right there. Whoo! See, when, when, I hear, when I hear a song and I listen to a song, I'm like, damn, I wish I made that song. That is one hell of a song. The song with Usher, it is uh, Jeremiah. Now let's get into Shine. This is personally one of my favorite Wale albums. Um, again, by this time, DJ Demos was tearing them up. You ain't selling that much. You ain't this. You ain't that. Yada yada. Uh, Wale's going into different genres and. Showing y'all his skills and his talents. I even like the album cover, man. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into the features. We got Road Timmy, Little Wayne, Scarface, Rose, and Gotti. That's my joint. August Grant, Wizkid, Eric Bellinger, Duel, Lipa, G Easy, August Grant. We already said August Grant. Edgar, Makuchuka, Machika Sky. Phil all day. J Balvin, shout out to J Balvin. Um, I'm gonna be going more into the Latino trap market as well. I'm gonna be giving them love to um, non-street. Everybody gets love, man. Everybody gets a fair shot. Travis Scott, Devito, Ola Mide, Chris Brown, Sam Sneak, and Zyla Moon. Zyla Moon's his daughter, and I think that's who's holding the moon. As well, that's crazy. His latest album, still a dope album. I didn't like it on the initial listen. Um, it's it was too all over the place, and a lot of the songs took too long to 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 start. But again, I think this is just because of the music that I've been listening to previously, such as your little Uzi verse, your little Yachty's. Um, those niggas just go straight into the song. Now with a Wale, you're actually gonna get some some better music. Damn, what the fuck? And it it takes time to get into the music to the song. If it's not a certain way, most most of us are just not fuck with it. Um, I I still. I'm, I think I think people should give this album a chance. I think people should give Wale a chance. Now, let's go over the features. We got Kelly Price, Manny Wells, Ari Lennox, Boogie, Black, Bryson Tiller, Jeremiah, Rick Ross, and Meek Mill, Lil Durk, Pink Sweats, Jacquees, and Megan Thee Stallion. So yeah, that's that's about it with Wale. Um, I don't have too much. Oh wait, 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 wait! I wanted to say this at, be, at the beginning. I don't know if I quite said this, but uh, a lot of people, a lot of rappers, have said bad things about Wale. MGK said he was boring. Tyler the Creator said he sucked. Uh, there was a couple more too, but the ones that caught my attention were MGK and Tyler the Creator. <laughs> so. I like Wale. It seems like he's rambling. It it seems I I I'm I'm speaking from your average listener's perspective, right? Cuz I understand where Wale is coming from. But it seems like he's talking about a bunch of nothing or he's talking about things that niggas don't want to think about or things niggas don't really care about. You know, um every rapper has a niche. Every rapper has a specific demographic that they're reaching that's the beauty about hip-hop nowadays 
you don't have to be a certain guy you can be whoever you want you're always going to reach a certain demographic as long as you perfect that craft and that's the beauty about america nowadays anybody can do it anybody can do anything anybody can sell any product you're going to have a fan base and i think that's what people aren't understanding about wale and why rick ross signed him he knows that's it's going to reach into a market that Rick Ross might not quite be able to reach or Meek Mill might not be be able to reach. Wale can reach that market. And that's the whole point of Wale. Let me got let me know what you guys think about Wale. Do you hate him? Do you love him? What do you think? Let's have a discussion in the comment section. Anyway, peace.